What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? This is Wilder Smig, and with me I have Jackhammer. Hi, guys. There he is. And this is a new show. We are doing the uh, VGX Awards prediction show. VGX, of course, being previously the VGA Awards. Yes, which in my mind made much more sense, but there we go. But there we are. Surely these would be the VGXAs. Anyway. Well, yeah, I don't even know what the X stands let's, for. Let's there just do the, let's do the predictions. Let's, let's do the predictions. Let's, so let's basically, we're going to go through pretty much every... Every category. category. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> category. Uh, and and uh, go through the options of who could possibly win and then saying who we think personally is going to win and perhaps our own preferences as well. And maybe we'll get a few right. Probably not. Who knows? I, I tell you what. Little challenge. Little mid-game challenge here. Whoever Should we gets keep a tally? Yeah, yeah. We'll, say. we'll keep a tally. Whoever wins gets a pizza bought from by the other person. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we wait till we after we get paid? <laughs> No. 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 Okay, no. he's just gonna broke me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, we'll make it, you know, a, a personal size pizza. It's like a one a one person pizza. Uh, okay. Not a big one. one. A cheap one. Uh, or one from Tesco's. Who knows? Uh, the other supermarkets are available. Right. Uh, <laughs> so I you just said we needed to shorten our intros. Well, I didn't say in, in the intro, oh, you know, okay, but right. but we've said it in this one now, so that's cool. Uh, all right, so um, let's, let's go through the list of things. So the, we've got two areas. We've got the council vote and viewer voted. So we'll do the council vote stuff first because some of that's a little boring, but some of it's kind of interesting. So the first one we've got is Best Voice Actress. Um, first up, we've got Ashley Johnson as Ellie from The Last of Us. Uh, Courtney Draper as Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite. Uh, Camilla Luddington as... Is it Luddington? Would you say Luddington, that? yeah. As Luddington. Lara Croft from Tomb Raider. And Adam Page as Jodie Holmes from Beyond Two Souls. Two big names stand out there in the uh, voice actressing world. Ashley Johnson and Adam Page. And the characters look very similar, I have to say. One, one being a <laughs> younger version. <laughs> we, we're not going to comment on not that. Not going to get that's, that. That's, people have talked enough about that in yeah. the press this year, let's be honest. Moving on. Um, my money is on Ashley Johnson. Um, having played both games... I just feel that that one was a little bit better mm. and Beyond didn't really go beyond any of my expectations. No, sadly, even though I like killing people. Um, I got I, I to gotta say, considering how many times we're going to disagree during this, for first off, I think I agree with you. That's going to be Ashley Johnson. That's my personal preference and I think she will I, win. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, it is between two. Um, as good as Bioshock was and Tomb Raider, great reboot. Just the voice acting. I mean, I'm fed up she of was hearing. Good. She was good. Yeah, no, but I'm fed up of hearing. Go, ah. She, well, she did have to get hurt a lot. She went through <laughs> shit. But anyway, moving on, moving on. That's we got a lot to get through. So yes. Uh, next. So, so next on the category is uh, best handheld game. Yeah, this is a pretty tough category. There's some really good games there. Um, so you're looking at Animal Crossing, New Leaf, Pokemon X and Y, Tear Away, and The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. So go on, who do you think then? What's your, what's your personal preference and who do you think is going to win? Personal preference, I know Tear Away is an absolutely amazing game, but I think it'll probably go to Zelda. Zelda is a very, very good reboot again. I mean, Nintendo are very good at reboots, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, but also they're very good at Zelda games. Uh, the, well, whether rebooted or not, they are... Freaking awesome. I know so many people that only buy Nintendo consoles for Zelda games. And that is a testament to the franchise, let's be honest. That's true. Uh, personally, I, mean, I think it comes down to either Pokemon or Zelda, both being Nintendo games. I mean, uh, Tearaway has a, uh, has a little look in, I'd say more than Animal Crossing. but I, I didn't get the Animal Crossing thing. It was novel, but it ultimately it's a bit boring. You know what? Oddly, I think, again, I have to agree with you, Pokemon comes out at least what something a year Zelda not so much that's a special occasion so and it's a particularly good one Legend of Zelda so the both of us Legend of Zelda Legend of Zelda okay I did not expect that um, both get a pizza <laughs> just realised we're going in a very strange order should probably go in this route so let's let's go to the bottom one here which is best song in a game uh, I don't uh, know half these songs I know one because of the way that they advertised it during the Call of Duty stuff but one's ADHD performed by Kendrick Lamar from GTA 5 Sleepwalking, performed by the Chain Gang of 1974, and GTA 5. Survival, performed by Eminem. That's it. Em I said Eminem then. Eminem, uh, from Call of Duty Ghost. That's the only one I know. And Will the Circle Be Unbroken, performed by Courtney Draper and Troy Baker from uh, Bioshock Infinite. I would love for it to be um, Will the Circle Be Unbroken, just because both voice actor and <laughs> actress actually participated yeah, in that yeah. song. But I'm going to go and hedge my bets on the 50% chance of a GTA song winning 
and go with ADHD. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I got a funny feeling going by the way they kind of like, hey, look, Call of Duty, woo, oh, look, Eminem, oh, he's got releasing an album and stuff. I think it's going to be that one. It's going to be the survival by Eminem guy, you know, that one. Maybe, maybe. It's attached to Call of Duty. Uh, it's it's definitely, it's... I don't think it's going to be the Bioshock one. It would be fun if it was, but I don't think it's going to be. I'd like it to be, but I don't think it will. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so next is Best Soundtrack. So if you want Best to Soundtrack. Best well, again, very tough choice here. So you've got the Bioshock Infinite soundtrack, Grand Theft Auto V, which it's not really a soundtrack. It's a collection of songs <laughs> from the years. Compilation. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nino Kuni and The Last of Us. For me, it's a toss-up between Nino Kuni and The Last of Us both brilliant soundtracks and I'd probably say Last of Us Edge is it again for me uh, I think personally I'd say Last of Us because of the way the game kind of brought you in and that soundtrack was part of it it wasn't you know an extra thing it was part of that involvement but I think GTA 5 is going to win it I gotta say because really? it is like a compilation and Last of Us even though it was it was excellent I probably wouldn't listen to it separately See, I spent hours listening to the Last of Us soundtrack, but I'm sad like that. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. So like, we have differentiated there, which is nice. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, so, oh, this is an interesting one. Best voice actor. So this, 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 hmm. He's got a good chance there, this guy. Troy Baker as Joel uh, from The Last of Us. Uh, Troy Baker again, but this time as Booker DeWitt from Bioshock Infinite. Stephen Ogg. Uh, as Trevor Phillips, who I gotta say that was that was a good fun character. Brilliant character. Um, Willem Dafoe as Nathan Dawkins. I don't think he should count because he is playing himself. That's not voice acting. That's just being yourself. Yeah, that's. Be he looks the same. So is that he's an actor. He's an actor. Actor. He, he is not a voice actor. Voice acting is easy when you've been an actor. Actor. Anyway, <laughs> um, that's a tough one. Me, it's going to be Troy Baker, and it's going to be The Last of Us. He was, in some ways, he better in that than he was in Bioshock. I mean, Bioshock was okay, but the voice acting wasn't amazing. I didn't even know it was the same person, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, but Troy Baker as Joel in The Last of Us was just an unbelievably good performance. Again, I mean, Last of Us was amazing. Pretty much any time they mentioned Last of Us, we're both going to go, it was amazing. This, yeah. whatever it is in this category, was awesome. Because in general, that game was freaking awesome. Um, but I think Stephen August, Trevor Phillips taking this one because it's such a stupid and strange character. I think that could do it. I think GTA. He's a fun character. I'm not going to deny that. He's a that, lunatic. <laughs> there's also a lot of people out there that got irritated by that character <laughs> and killed him off. Um, nah. But more than that, I, the voice acting quality was much better in The Last of Us than GTA. No. It, it just was. There was yeah, no anyway. emotion there. You've chosen yours, I've chosen mine. Let's move on to the next thing! Oh, right. what was uh, the so next the next thing is best casual game. Best casual game. Now, I'm oh. not going to have any idea about this, but here we go. <laughs> um, again, Animal Crossing New Leaf is up. Uh, Disney Infinity. Plants vs. Zombies 2. And Skylanders Swap Force. Yeah, it's... Uh, Animal Crossing. Simple. Animal it's, Crossing for you? Out of all of them, that would be the most addictive one to play. And... Two of the one ones where you actually have to buy more characters. I don't see that being a casual game where you have to buy more characters to finish I'll the be game. Honest with you, I think in reality, Swap Force will probably end up winning it just because of the franchise, how big it is, and the it is picked up by a lot of kids every year. But my personal choice, because I've become unbelievably obsessed with it of late, um, Plants vs Zombies Two. All right, so Animal Crossing and Plants vs Zombies. True. Now, okay. So, on to best PC game. So, this is an interesting mix. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a bit harsh. I, I think I know which one's going to win, but I would be pleasantly surprised, I'd say, if one of those. Uh, so, Battlefield 4, you know, that's a biggie. Uh, Gone Home, I haven't even heard of that one, but that's the Fulbright Company. Uh, Papers, Please. Now, I know about that one. That That's a game where you play a very, very harsh person. Uh, it's an airport. And the Stanley Parable, which you know something about and I don't I know really. about the Stanley Parable. I've watched a few YouTube videos on it. And to be honest, it looks hilarious. Um, although everyone's going to flock to Battlefield 4 because it's the big, shiny, bright game. Given the amount of indie games that are in this list, I would personally say the Stanley Parable has a good chance. That would be my shout. And if anyone gets a chance to play it, the voiceover, just the way the game is done is absolutely fantastic. All right, so I think Battlefield has a strong go for it, so I think it'll probably be Battlefield. 
Personally, I think Papers, Please might be a fun one to do, but oh, I don't I don't know. It's the tough one. Because you want to say, obviously, the big one's going to win it, but... I mean, I would like to think that PC gaming in the last year has taken a big change. And I mean, you know what's good? No, I've decided. Papers, Please. It's going to be that. It'll be that. Yeah, I think it's going to be Papers, Please. Fair enough. Yep. Yeah, so, what's next we got? So, we're both going for indies, Ooh, then. Yeah, yeah, we are. So, there you go. Best Nintendo game. Oh, great. But yeah. <laughs> this is a little bit of a, you know, a best Nintendo game, really. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> so, you got there. Pikmin 3, Rayman Legends, Super Mario 3D World, and The Wonderful 101. I think it's obvious. What are you going for? It's going to be Mario. It's It's got to be Mario. If it's... If Mario is not the best game on a Nintendo console, there's no point in getting a Nintendo console anymore because it's got to be Mario. I would be inclined to agree with you. For me, a toss-up between Rayman Legends and Mario because they both very, very good games. Um, but ultimately, you think Nintendo, you think Mario. It's got to be Mario. It's got to be Mario. If there it's not Mario, it's a travesty. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, next we have Best PlayStation Game. Uh, of which not all of these are PlayStation exclusives. No, there's... Which doesn't make a whole lot yeah, of sense. Yeah, I'm a little upset by this, because it's like... It's chilly. Again, because you've got Rayman Legends on there, which was a Nintendo got game. Best Game Category. So, what is the Best Game Character well, Category there yeah. for? Anyway, uh, so you have Grand Theft Auto V, Rayman Legends, The Last of Us, and Tomb Raider. This, as I'm sure Mike is about to say, <laughs> is going to be The Last of Us show. Um it, it is by far the best game on PlayStation of the year, and I don't think anyone would disagree. I think in in this sense, in as a PlayStation game, The Last of Us is going to win it. Um, I think if this was called uh, best game, I think GTA would take it, but because it's a PlayStation game, I'm saying Last of Us. It's got to be Last of Us. It's got to be Last of Us. It has to be. We're agreeing on a lot more than I expected. I don't like this. This is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree with you ever. But anyway, on to the next category. Best so, Xbox game. Yeah, best Xbox game. Again, weird <coughs> titles here. Not Is there even a single... Oh, yeah, there is one Xbox one, exclusive. One exclusive. Uh, so you've got Bioshock Infinite, Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, Grand Theft Auto V, and Tomb Raider. <laughs> Where are you feeling on this uh, one? Brothers was an interesting one. i got to say, that was some interesting way of playing, and it got a little confusing at times, but also enjoyable. But much like I said with the other one, I, I think it's going to be GTA Five in this one because Tomb Raider was good. I did enjoy that, but it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Bioshock again, good, but you know, uh, but GTA Five has appealed to pretty much everybody. Well, it's not every game that ships a million units overnight. No, no, not really. It's it's a big, big game, and I would agree with you. It's going to be GTA Five, although I do think it's a farce that the 360 category has <laughs> games that are on <laughs> other platforms. Again, it's, it's but th this is just the setup of the way the VGX is done. It's going to be GTA, and it is an epic game. Yeah, okay. So... <laughs> Moving on. Uh, best DLC. Best DLC. Um, so you're looking at Borderlands 2, Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep, Dishonored, The Knife of Dunwall, Far Cry 3, Blood Dragon, and Mass Effect 3, Citadel. Now, I'm going to confess, I have played two of those. <laughs> um, that was Far Cry and Dishonored. Both brilliant bits of DLC, but for me... Blood Dragon was an amalgamation of every 80s action <laughs> film I have ever seen. 80s chaos. And it was so much fun. It has to win this category, um, in my opinion. I gotta say, I'm a little upset because uh, I think I was going Far Cry 3 on this one. But I d was Mass Effect 3 Citadel this year? I didn't even realise that. Was Mass Effect 3 this year? No, but the, the <laughs> DLC, on the other I hand. I'll be honest with you, Mass Effect dropped off the radar quite a long time ago. So there I'm was wondering. the controversy with the ending and everything yeah. else. Has anyone really bothered that much with the DLC? I don't think it's Citadel's really got a look in. I don't think Dishonored, even though it's a brilliant game, I don't think it's going to do anything. Uh, Borderlands it, 2 was great, but I didn't really keep up with much of the DLC, so I have to say Far Cry 3 as well. Blood Dragon, if you've not tried it, it it's honestly, it is the most fun you can have on a video <laughs> game. Um, it is just absolute carnage. All right, so we're up to best driving game, um, which is an interesting collection, I guess. Uh, you got F1 2013. You know, you got to have that, I guess. 
Grid 2, which I can't say I, I, I enjoy quite some bit. Yeah. Uh, Forza Motorsport 5, which I gotta say looks kind of pretty. Very pretty. Very pretty. Well, it's a racing game. Not a well, the, well, it's the racing game category. Contest. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Need for Speed Rivals, which I haven't rated Need for really? Speed game that, for a while. That, that makes it into there? It does, yes. It Seriously? wasn't much choice. It, I mean, I guess. Well, yeah. Yeah, anyway, so it's, it's going to be out of the top three, I'd say. <laughs> MotoGP. MotoGP should have made it in there before... Uh, really? Uh, Need for, well, before Need for Speed, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, EA. Uh, yeah. I apologise to EA. <laughs> so they've, they've been voted once again the most evil corporation in the world. Uh, How many years running? I Shush, moving on. No, we're not going to I do enjoy... EA. No, no, we're going to talk about this. This is the thing we're here for. Okay. Uh, I do enjoy a bit of F1, but I gotta say the game hasn't really changed that much, even though they did try to introduce like the legendary stuff, uh, like the old race cars and so my on and so with forth. F1, I can't get my head around it. Like you go too slow into a corner, you spin out. You go too fast into a corner, you drive straight off the track. Uh, I just want a racing game. I don't want death around right. every bend. Okay. Grid two. I had so much fun playing Grid two, and Force I haven't had much time on. I have played a bit, but. I, I can't say Grid 2 personally, but I think Forza may take it because it's in the new next-gen game. People are like, oh my god, it's so amazingly beautiful! I hate to do this, but I am agreeing with you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Grid 2, for me, is the racing game of last year. Um, it had everything. It wasn't too arcadey. It wasn't too serious. You could do both sorts of racing. If you wanted to drift around the corners, you got yourself a muscle car. If you wanted some fast proper simulation racing you could get yourself a european hatchback it had everything forza is very pretty but as a racing game sounds good too it's not that challenging and i think it will win the award but the award should go to grid I th it should go to grid but i think it's forza yeah all right, best fighting game. <sighs> this is a cool one. I like so this one. Best fighting game. I have very little experience on this, although you did see me take mic on, or might not have seen me take mic on when we were Twitch streaming it. Did we? We on, didn't. Uh, on one of the. Did we Twitch stream Kid Instinct? Yeah, we did. Oh, we did. Yeah. yeah I kicked your ass. Yeah, the bit, the bit, um, yeah. So the <laughs> the, the uh, nominees then are Dive Kick. I have no idea what that is. I do. Um, Injustice Gods Among Us. Killer Instinct and Tekken Revolution. Right, I think we can ignore Tekken. Um, cause Considering I didn't even realise it came out, yeah. Yeah, that's the rev <laughs> that's, is that the one where you like it's a free to play version? I think it is. I, I think, think it's basically Sony's answer to Killer Instinct. <laughs> but Killer Instinct was badass. Um, dive Kick, that's an interesting one. Basically, it's really simple. You have to dive kick. Dive kick. Yeah, you jump in the air. And you try and kick the other person, and if you get a headshot, it goes, headshot! Um, so you have like so many rounds to kind of get a well, kick. It's an it's arcade game, by any chance. No, no, it's, it's not. Full game. It's a game. Well, I wouldn't call it a full game. No. It's, a, it's a PC, like an indie uh, right, game indie. type thing. Uh, it, it, it's, it's quite fun, i got to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it hasn't even got like, a trailer you can watch. Like, it says, watch trailer, watch trailer, no trailer for dive kick. Uh, <laughs> but... I, I would like it if that got an honorable mention. I don't think it'll win because it's not exactly what you call in depth <laughs> at all, really. But I want to see an honorable honorable mention for Dive Kick. Um, it comes down to me, Injustice Killer Instinct. And I think Injustice was good. I like the story. But I think it comes down to being simply Killer Instinct. I freaking love Killer Instinct. I played it as a kid. And uh, just simply because of memories and rose tinted glasses and all that jazz that I'm saying Killer Instinct I would be inclined to agree with you and to some extent I think that they probably will choose Killer Instinct but I honestly think that Injustice was a better fighting game I enjoyed it more I think it was more difficult to master and I think it was just a better game but the combos man the Killer combos. Instinct, I'll be honest with you, Combo. I didn't think it was a great game first time round, and there's a lot of people who'll not agree with me on that. <laughs> me, the one. But I also don't think that it deserved a reboot. And <gasps> Harsh. So, so harsh. I just don't get it. I, I honestly don't, and I didn't think it was that great when we were playing it. I thought it was okay, but I was button bashing and beating the crap out of you, so I would go with uh, Injustice on that one. Okay, Injustice for you. Controversial. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yes, very much so. <laughs> I 
Um, so we move on to best RPG, of which we have very little experience also. <laughs> um, so you have Final Fantasy XIV Online, A Realm Reborn, Fire Emblem Awakening, Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch, and Pokemon X and Y. See, this is a tough one. This this is a tough one, because I don't think, even though Final Fantasy XIV has done very well for itself, simply since after it's been reborn from its terrible game that it was previously, um, it was it's very, very well received by it, people. Yes, it has yes, been. but it's not been like, oh my god, whereas Nino Kuni, for example... Nino Kuni was a standout game. That yeah, it, it's an absolutely beautiful game that plays amazingly well and is simple, but not so simple that it's disengaging. It, it and it's Studio Ghibli. I mean, come on. Yeah, come I on. mean, my money would be on Nino Kuni. I played the game. I loved it, and it's not normally my sort of game. See. And if it can bring me around, yeah, Nino Kuni's good. Um. I think you can ignore Final Fantasy, definitely ignore Fire Emblem. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's a terrible game. I'm just saying it can just be ignored for this. <laughs> it comes to Nino Kuni or Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon being one of those addictive games that everyone has bought again. Uh, and Nino Kuni, you couldn't for life find for love nor money when I was trying to find one. So, mm. oh, it's. Remember your argument earlier was Pokemon is out every year. That that was you against know. Zelda though. But you don't get a game like Nino Kuni. That was for best Zelda game. Uh, best Zelda game? Ooh, that'd be weird. Pokemon vs. Zelda in the best Zelda game. That's stupid. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> God, no. Um, I'd say Nino Kuni is a, a once in maybe every five year sort of game. Oh, I, 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 <laughs> I can't decide. I, uh, is it Nino Kuni? Or Pokemon? Nino oh, I want to say Pokemon, but I want to say Nino Kuni. Pokemon? No, my stomach goes, no, not Pokemon, Nino Kuni. Uh, Need an answer, we're going to okay. have to move on. I'm just going just to simply just to disagree with you, Pokemon. There we go. Sweet, that's the pizza <laughs> in the back. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, best independent game. So um, we've got a few which we may have seen a little earlier here. Were they independent games? I never realized. Uh, well, uh, they, there we go, yes. Uh, so first of all, we have Gone Home. Uh, then Kentucky Ro Route Zero. I don't know what that is at all. Uh, papers, I know, but it looks interesting. It does kind of has an interesting art style. Uh, papers, please, and the Stanley Parable. <laughs> well, for me, having not played either of them, but seen lots and lots of uh, gameplay footage, Stanley Parable. I would say it's a toss-up between Papers, Please, and Stanley Parable. But for me, it is Stanley Parable just for the extra depth it adds. It is funny and i mean properly funny um the stuff that they make you do things like um running around the office trying to open different door numbers and coming back to get achievements so you don't get an achievement for op trying to open a door you then have to go through the building trying to open loads of different numbered doors finding the numbered doors coming back to the same door and then it telling you that that's still not enough to get your achievement <laughs> and you keep doing it um and it was just funny. Um, Papers, Please is good and funny in its own little way. Um, you know, stopping people entering the country just on a whim because you feel like <laughs> it. <laughs> um, but for me, Stanley Parable. The Stanley Parable, definitely. Okay, and because I don't know pretty much any of these games, uh, I just moved the screen around a lot and then blindfolded myself and poked at the screen. I also landed on the Stanley Parable. So that's what I did when you were talking there and I may have looked a little weird. That's what was happening. I was choosing my game simply by chance. So there you go. I have chosen also the Stanley Parable. Mm. That's interesting how that worked out, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. All right. Best sports game. Well, you know, this is an amazing category. Yes. that features lots of incredible a wide, sports a games. A wide array of some of the best in the um, world. So nobody would have predicted FIFA 14 FIFA being 14. a nominee. Um, actually, fair dues, we didn't think about MLB because no. it's not something that we have over here, but not that really. is apparently a nominee. As is NBA 2K14, which has received a lot of acclaim lately. And uh, NHL 14, Fighting on Ice. <laughs> 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 is that what we're calling it these days? Uh, why not? That's the only fun bit about hockey games, starting fights. Yeah, but they don't seem to do it so much these days. I know. Not fair. It sucks a bit, doesn't it? Uh, ooh, see, if this was a British thing, it would say FIFA 14 straight off. But it's American. I don't see MLB being that 
popular. NBA 2K. Oh, okay, I'm going NBA 2K14. Seriously, MLB, not that popular. It's a sport that the Americans have a World Series for that only involves themselves. Yeah, but NBA 2K14, you know, EA have done NBA again this year. I hate to agree with you, but I would actually, <laughs> given that I've played FIFA and it's okay, it's not a huge upgrade from previous gen, whereas I know NBA has Hey, I just noticed Madden's not on here. Yeah. That's weird. Obviously, baseball's bigger than football in America. That's weird. <laughs> I don't think that's true, obviously. Yeah. Um, but a bit of a weird one that uh, it isn't on there. I would go with NBA just because I know that uh, everyone has been very impressed with NBA 2K14 yes. this yes. year and I think it's a big step up from what the games have done previously. All right. Now now so, we're starting to get to the meat and potatoes. Of yeah, the business. best action adventure game. These are the games that we like. So, <laughs> again, a really, really tough one to call this. Oh, my God. You've got Assassin's Creed, Black Flag, Grand Theft Auto, The Last of Us, and Tomb Raider. <laughs> It's I'm, sadly it's not going to be Tomb Raider. It was a good game, but had its flaws. Uh, yeah, it's uh, still not as good as Uncharted. Let's be honest. I would like to say Assassin's Creed, but that's just a personal preference. Uh, it's going to come down to GTA or Last of Us. It's one of those two. I would would you call GTA an action adventure? I game? would not call it an action adventure game. Uh, that that should be disqualified. There is no action. Well, no, there's, there's plenty of action. Of action there but is no, no adventure. adventure. It's just bang bang shooty shooty. And The Last of Us is I mean, bang, what? bang, hide, hide, hide. <laughs> then punch you from hiding. I would kind of call The Last of Us action adventure. I would. Um, I, I, I call it a sneaky stealth zombie infestation. Mm, possibly, but there are no <laughs> zombies, remember? They're infected oh, infected, infected infestation. <laughs> there we go. What genre would you call GTA, seeing as we've opened this can of worms? Uh, GTA genre. Uh, yeah. I suppose it's an uh, open world sandbox. Uh, which is it's an open world shooter. Into. It's not even a shooter, is it? Because you can do all sorts of things. D- open world life sim. There we go. But where you get to criminal life not, sim. Yeah, cri- there we go. All right. Yeah. That's criminal sim. It's a criminal crim- sim. Crim sim. Crim sim. There you go. We've invented a Put genre. Put copyright on that. <laughs> it's a crim sim. Right. Okay. <laughs> Although, would Assassin's Creed you're a pirate? Would that not technically come under crim sim also? No. No. <laughs> it's profiteering. Not profiteering. <laughs> Um, privateering privateering good lord that's a completely different thing <laughs> um, I again would love to say Assassin's Creed because for me that is genuinely the best action adventure game out this year Yeah. Um, especially on next gen um, it's just astounding it looks amazing it plays brilliantly but it's probably going to be GTA um, and that's just discounting Last of Us because it's more of a survival horror in all honesty than an action adventure but GTA is also not an action adventure but it'll win because it's GTA. I think it's down to GTA or Last of Us. Um, I would rather Assassin's Creed or Last of Us win but I'm going to say GTA. <laughs> I haven't given GTA too much so far. I don't want to give it this. I want to say Last of Us over GTA 5. I won't... I mean, this is... I presume this is a council of people who know video games and such like that. Yeah, and, but this is your heart talking over your head. I know! I know! And I'm just... just I just... <laughs> no! I, just, I can't... <sighs> watch no, it go to I'm Tomb saying Raider. Last of Us. I'm saying just, Last of Us. Just watch nope, it go nope, to Tomb Raider nope, now. Nope, we Us. discounted it. Watch it go to Tomb Raider. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her face. What's going on in that picture? It's completely warped. She's like, I don't want to win. I think it's a shame no one else can see of, this. Um, that bloke that she saved. Okay, anyway. <laughs> uh, right. Ooh, big one now. Best shooter. Uh, so we've got ourselves uh, Battlefield 4, Bioshock Infinite, Call of Duty Ghosts, and Metro Last Light. All right, I let's move on. It's going to be Call of Duty Ghosts. It's, it's going to be Call of Duty Ghosts. It doesn't matter. It's the going to be Call of Duty Ghosts. Call better. It doesn't matter that no. Metro Last Light and Bioshock are on the nominees. Levelution be cannot win it for itself. Call it's of Duty. Bioshock fun game not going to win it Metro Last like apparently alright a bit flawed here and there but not going to win it it's going to be Call of Duty it shouldn't be but it will <laughs> I agree uh, Studio of the Year now ooh now for me this is tight um, between two so the nominees are Irrational Games so those are the guys that did uh, Bioshock. Bioshock Naughty Dog obviously Uncharted and Last of Us um, you've got Rockstar North, who I don't need to tell you what they did. It was GTA, and Fulbright Company, who did one of the indie games earlier, Go oh, Home, PC. I think it was. Something like that, yeah. For me, it's a toss-up between Naughty Dog and Rockstar North. Obviously, it should be Naughty Dog. 
it should be Naughty Dog all day long because Rockstar, it's gonna be Rockstar. make one game every five years. Five years or something <laughs> like that. Naughty Dog have been pumping out brilliant games year after year. And for me, Naughty Dog are hands down one of the best studios around at the minute. So, Naughty Dog. It's going to be Rockstar. <laughs> I want to say Naughty Dog. It's going to be Rockstar. All right. So, this is the one. This is it. This is the game of the year, ladies and gentlemen. So what do we got? We got Bioshock Infinite, <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. Why is Bioshock Infinite really? Well, this is what I was about to say. It's a pretty weak lineup. There's two games in there that qualify for Game of the Year nominations, and there's a couple of good games that are missing. <sighs> I mean, Assassin's Creed's not even in there. No. Uh, uh, yeah, Bioshock Infinite, Grand Theft Auto V, Super Mario 3D World, and ooh, more. Last of Us and Tomb Raider. Oh, Tomb Raider there's, is there's there. Fi- there's five in this one. Um, for me, I don't have to think about this. It's hands down The Last of Us. Last of Us is the best game I've played in the last ten years. Um, as much as people are going to be saying GTA V, I actually think The Last of Us can tip this because GTA V is a good game, but The Last of Us is an amazing game. And for me, that wins it. I think... Straight away, you can discount Bioshock Infinite, I think. It's uh, not that's Game of the Year, nor is Mario, let's be quite frank, and nor is Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider isn't... But, 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 but I'd like to think Mario could take it. I would like, in this era of depleting sales of the Wii U, that Mario could win Game of the Year. No. And through my sheer stupidness... Stupidness? Stupidity. There we go, that's the word I want. <laughs> Where I can't even speak English properly anymore... Um, between choosing Last of Us and Grand Theft Auto V, I choose Super Mario 3D World. Yep, because I'm a dick. And because I think Mario could do it, because he rocks. Sorry, but... I know you disagree. You already said yours. That's why I'm just coming up with mine. It's not that. I just mean Nintendo have just gone. <laughs> Nintendo need to, to reevaluate what they're making, why they're making it. Not what we're here for. So, uh, that leaves two more, two more things, uh, which are the viewer voted ones. Uh, I don't know when people stop voting for these, actually. When I don't know, but hopefully we have a good sort of gauge on this. Yeah. Seeing as, uh, um, we are viewers. So <laughs> the first one is best mobile game. Um, I think I know which one's won this. You have either Angry Birds Star Wars, Infinity Blade 3, Plants vs. Zombies 2, or Ridiculous Fishing. I don't think it's going to be Ridiculous Fishing. I don't know. I've not played it. Neither have I. That's why I'm saying you don't think it's that. You probably it's disagree with me, I think, on this one. Because I would say it's a toss-up between Angry Birds, Star Wars, and Plants vs. Zombies. That's what I think it's a toss-up between. Oh, you actually... I was going to get rid of Infinity Blade because the third one hasn't been as good as the second one. I haven't even touched Infinity Blade. It's however oddly compelling to play. Angry Birds, Star Wars is absolute genius. Yep. The characters are brilliant. It's genius. And just just everything about the game, the, the set design and the noises and the little powers you get with... The characters and the music is, and the music it, it is fantastic um and plants vs zombies 2 it's more plants vs zombies i mean there's not a lot they can get wrong with it it's fun it's addictive and i do love it but mm. i think for me angry birds star wars will win this category yeah it, it is just definitely it's angry birds it's yeah. taking over the world for crying out loud that was taking over star wars disney now own this <laughs> well, the thing is, yeah, <laughs> Disney own it. Um, I never thought about it before. Angry Birds and Star Wars, putting them together, has created a monster <laughs> franchise. Um, and it has got to win. So, the final category then is the most anticipated game award. This is a tough and one. And this could actually be quite tough. Uh, it's pretty much every um, single one in this I think I want. Yeah, there's very, very good games in there. So, Destiny, for a start. Oh. Titanfall. Oh. South Park, The Stick of Truth. You've got to want to play that so badly. Um, the Witcher 3. I wouldn't mind playing. And um, Watch Dogs. Which I am so looking forward to. Now, Watch Dogs will have a lot of hype going for it just oh, because they've had to geez. delay. Um, Titanfall, obviously, is one of the major titles coming out. Won more E3 awards than anything else. And is a major, major... Um, contender for this Destiny Destiny I think could pull it off Bungie Activision I think could pull it off in all honesty 
South Park could. It won't win I, this. No, it won't win it this. It won't win it's this. It's going to be a good game. <laughs> Anybody be... like South Park will want to play this, but I it's... don't think we'll win most anticipated game. No, and I don't think The Witcher will either. No, again, lots of people it's, want to play it's it. It's very niche. Yeah. Um, Watch Dogs, Destiny, and Titanfall, it's a toss-up between the three. I, I think I'm sticking with Destiny on this one. I actually think I'm going to go with Watch Dogs. I think there's been more interest okay. in Watch Dogs, um, just given its GTA-esque nature. Yep. Um, I think it appeals to a wider audience of people than the other games. Um, so, yeah, Watch Dogs would be my call. Okay. Well, that's that's, that's an interesting mix of things. I don't know what exactly we voted for, but I will make sure when they we can tally make it the video. There'll be a nice little thing going. what's going on. Um, so, we will do a video after the VGX uh, showing you uh, who has won and who hasn't. Yes. Uh, you'll see me eating my pizza that yeah. Michael has <laughs> me. You don't know this. Uh, uh, cool. And what you can do as well, yeah, if you yeah. want to participate and join in the fun, you can put in what you think uh, is going to win uh, best game. I think best games should be the best one to uh, vote for. Yeah, everyone vote on game of the year. Game Let's of the see year. What we can get going on that. Uh, so until uh, next video, where I will be eating pizza uh, <laughs> off uh, my plate because I've let you. Oh dear, this is going to get bad, isn't it? <laughs> um, so until next time, this is goodbye from me and goodbye from me. Bye bye. Bye.